Right, welcome ladies and gents. Let's talk The Witcher. The Witcher Season 2. So I've watched all of this now. Don't expect any footage, because Netflix are really hot on their copyright claims. They don't like anyone using anything. Okay? So can't do it. Soz. You just got my big dumb face. I do apologise. Right. So The Witcher Season 2. I did a, you know, uh, Witcher Season 2 is great so far video, right? Where I basically reviewed Episode 1 uh, in some detail. Sort of. Not really spoilers or anything like that. And, and then I, I said in that video, hey, I'm going to do like a roundup review at the end. This channel doesn't uh, do very well with episode by episode reviews. It just typically doesn't, um, doesn't work very well with Netflix stuff. So just don't do it. So here is that video. This is the roundup video. So I finished it all. And I do have now the hindsight, I guess, because I did that first video. And it's interesting because I'm going to be talking about my personal thoughts but then potentially sharing some thoughts that you guys have because those thoughts have been coming through on that video. So my personal thoughts of this whole season was that it was really good. But wait, I've never played the games. I've never read the books. I've done anything about it. I'm just watching a Netflix show, okay? Because you guys, a lot of people, hated it. And a lot of people said... It, it, it pisses on the law, completely changes everything, uh, fabrication, they made a bunch of stuff up, and it's not good, right? So I think that's important to point out, okay? I really enjoyed this as someone who has never played the games. I'm not a massive gamer. I do games for members and Patreons uh, weekly, which, side note, we're doing Cyberpunk 2077. If you want to do that and support the channel, members and patrons, all linked in the description box support the channel for as little as 99 pence a month on membership actually for youtube but i've never played the games and i've got no knowledge of anything right i don't know what the I, I know rudimentary stuff about witches right very rudimentary stuff uh, it has inspired me to maybe want to play the games but on a whole don't know anything about it so i really enjoyed this season far 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 superior to season one season one was just woeful in my eyes. There was the glimmer of a great series in there. They sidelined Geralt, or Geralt. Uh, you know, they had this weird timeline event moving backwards and forwards, different people, different things. And they kept some of that. No weird timelines. But they kept, flit, you know, flitting backwards and forwards between groups and factions. But it was all on the same timeline. Everything you could tell was definitively moving in the right direction and it just stood on its own there was an episode in particular where they literally hung a lantern on season one's complaints which i thought was very very smart by hanging a lantern they what i mean is they literally just called them out there was a uh you know um yaskia the bard and uh like a grunt a security guard grunt was having this sort of interaction and he was like oh yeah well you know that song that song you sing, you know, talking about that dragon, I could see that coming a mile off and all this, that, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, yeah. I liked it. I liked that. That was smart. You know, I like it when people are self-referential for the things that people didn't like. Like, it's it's good. If you're hanging a lantern on stuff like that, I thought it was quite good. I mean, obviously, Yaskia's reply in that episode implies that uh, it got on the writer's nerves because his reply was quite literally, well, make some songs yourself if you think you can do it, which is obviously the writer saying, yeah, you have those complaints noted, but make your own Witcher series if you think you can do it, right? Which is a bit, a bit, yeah, on the nose. But I really enjoyed this series. The action was great from start to finish. The the, the amount of Geralt, uh, Henry Cavill, was fantastic. The effects were, on a whole, really good. I would say 90% of the effects were stand out. There was one shot where the VFX, where they were going to like some temple of peace, like very neutral ground, this sort of thing. That was garbage. That was absolutely fucking atrocious. And then, and then there was another one, the flying rock dragon thing. Uh, not so good, but I think that's the contrast between the blacks and the greens. So. The monster's got black rock on it, and then it's against the green forest and stuff. I think that's potentially why it didn't look so great. Um, but most of the effects, like I said, 90% of the effects were great. Whereas in the first season, the effects were woeful. 
round out right to the end. Now, loads of people are like, that's a fabrication, it's all made up, it's all this, it's all that. I, I am genuinely interested now where this story goes. I really am. There's a lot at play here. You got elves. You got elven, uh, el elder blood. Elves. You got so you got elves. You got elder blood. You've got the daughter of chaos, the wild hunt. You got Henry Cavill, Yennefer. You know all these people sort of working together. And it's just very very good. Uh, I, I yeah, this is the kind of show that I wanted it to be when it was announced. Lots of monsters. Lots of fighting. I will say, one of my main complaints, and it became more apparent as the season went on, was Henry Cavill's voice as Geralt. Um, yeah. That must really hurt his throat, doing that voice the whole time. <laughs> that would hurt. That would hurt my voice. Like, my, my voice can go to some, you know, some, some quite deep places, but... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's all sort of a bit too gruff. Doing it for that long, I, I would imagine, would... Um, yeah, cause, cause a bit of a pain. But very good. I think the music especially was good this season, actually. Um, music effects. The cinematography was much better. Much, much better uh, this season. They they definitely stepped it up. And it's to me, it's gone in the right direction. But that's my review anyway. Now, your your guys' thoughts were... And, and it's not everyone. FYI, it's definitely not everyone. But a lot of people... A lot of people were sat there going, nope, because it's completely nothing like the games. Or it's nothing like the books. And I think that's that's the that's the situation that they're stuck in, right? Because I, I distinctly remember when they first announced this, that they were going to do what the books were. They were having an adaptation of the books, not an adaptation of the game. So I don't know how different the games are from the books, right? I don't know. I don't know what CD Projekt Red did differently with the games than they did with the books. The original author did with the books. But I do know when this was first announced, it was always announced that this is going to be an adaptation of the books. And as such, it's going to be different from the games. But I, I, I'm fairly certain, looking through the comments, that people have said that they've just fabricated a lot of stuff. But I guess that does make a lot of sense, because they're not adapting the games. So it's going to be very different from the games. And then it's going to be very different from the books because it's an adaptation of the books. And I think people do need to view it on that lens that it is its own thing. You know, and it's not, I'm not trying to defend it. I'm not trying to say you should do this. But I'm saying if they came out and announced it like that, that's kind of the lens that, uh, you know, the lens perspective that they're at least inviting you to view it through. Um, because they've been honest, right? They, they, they said that from the off. So I think that's important to note, but there's not really that much else to say. Um, I think this will be divisive because, you know, it's it's quite different. But I really liked it. And I was massively on the fence after season one. I'm glad I stuck with it for season two. If you've seen it, what did you guys think? Um, and those that have read the books versus the games versus this, what's different? You know, do you like it? Do you dislike it? Uh, what's the difference? I'd love to hear it. So let me know down below in the comments. If you're new here, please do hit subscribe. Guys, love to have you here on the channel a little bit more. And if you want, I do actually have a vlog slash uh, car channel stuff. It's down below in the description box. Check it out. You might really like it. Uh, rebuilding a rare rally car, uh, Japanese homologation car. So you might like it. But anyway, I digress. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I've been Mr. H. Take care.